The first thing you're going to want to do is notice the amount of cups your carafe holds. Decide how many cups you want and start filling it up with water. I'm just going to go ahead and fill mine all the way up just to, just for this demonstration. And then you're going to find the back of your coffee maker and there will be a little area for you to pour your coffee. Be careful not to spill it. Try and get as much out of it as we can. And you can just go ahead and put it in the coffee maker for now. Get it out of the way. And then you're going to want to find some coffee grounds. And you're also going to need a filter, which will look like this. Then you're going to want to pour the coffee grounds into the filter, but make sure you only get like maybe maybe a half an inch to an inch, depending on how strong you want your coffee to be. Um, yeah, just pour it about half an inch to an inch from the bottom of the filter. Look, look something like this. Then you're going to want to place that in the top of the coffee maker. Shut the lid, press on, and let it sit for probably around 20 minutes. Almost done here. Alright, now you can go ahead and press the off button. And pour it into a cup of your choice. Maybe three quarters of the way full you need some room for the, the creamer and um, for a small cup like this you're probably gonna want maybe I don't know I, I like sugar so I'm gonna put a spoonful and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more than that just cuz I, I like my coffee nice and sweet and then you can go ahead and put the sugar away and then you're gonna want to find some creamer of your choice there's plenty of flavors out there but I I like French vanilla the best so I'm gonna use that. You can pour it in. It's not too much. Stir it up. And then you, you you'll usually be able to tell from the color if um if it's gonna be good for you. I like mine to be a little brighter colored, not on the dark side. pretty good thanks for watching my video guys um, subscribe